Current standards call for students to start learning foundational energy ideas in elementary school. This is a big challenge. How can students who are only 10 years old reason about energy transfer when it's so abstract and they can neither see nor measure it directly? We at the Focus on Energy Project envision classrooms where students progress from incomplete explanations of energy flow like this to explanations that look like this and even this. We have the, per the handle that we cranked up and had all the motion energy from us and then the generator, the energy transferred over to the generator and transformed. Uh, the capacitor gives energy to the motor, electrical energy to the motor. And then it goes to the propeller. Yeah, and then it goes to the propeller. And it changes to motion. Into motion, motion yeah. It changes to motion energy. The Focus on Energy project provides a language and a framework to talk about energy using what we call the energy tracking lens. Students learn to tell a story about how energy moves through a system using energy cubes. They use evidence from their investigations to decide which physical objects to represent and what forms of energy are involved. Together they reason about how the energy flows by moving cubes from one object to another and by flipping them when energy changes form. These students haven't just memorized vocabulary about energy forms and processes. They're skillfully using a model of energy that they have generated themselves to construct an explanation of how energy flows through the system. This is a model the students now own. They can continue to refine it and use it to explain energy forms and flow in any field of science, as well as in everyday life. Leading the discussions about energy and the energy stories has been a really cool experience because I have to take a step back from my normal teaching role and let the kids do all of the work really. And it's been amazing to see what they can really come up with on their own. The kids are provided with many different tools in their tool belt that they can use to tell the energy story. And this project has been accessible to all of my students and some of the kids were giving the best explanations. The greatest impact of Focus on Energy on my students is that they think they're scientists. You know, they are asking the same questions that scientists ask and uh, they're excited about science. They look forward to science and uh, that is a wonderful impact to have on young kids.